Hello friends and welcome to Ravi Mazda. Today we are going to see how we can install a 4040 commercial RO membrane in a commercial RO membrane housing of 500 liter per hour. So friends, let's get started. So this is the reverse osmosis membrane housing. So in the membrane housing towards the pressure pump, there is one uh, clip that we need to remove. So you can see this stainless steel clip inside. This is inside the reverse osmosis membrane housing which we need to remove with help of a nose plier by just pulling it out eventually it will come out. It is not very much difficult but once you get used to it you can remove it easily. Then you can remove the outer covering of the housing and this is the housing from inside how it looks. So now let's unpack the membranes and let's get started with installation. This is the Dow Film Tech 4040 original membrane for 500 lph and 250 lph ro water purifiers this is a single membrane we are going to install two reverse osmosis membrane in this water purifier so we can get 500 liter per hour so this will be arranged in series so the two membranes will be connected with a membrane interconnector this is the ro membrane which is made by Dow Film Tech, which is said to be the best reverse osmosis membrane one can buy for all kinds of hard water treatments. This is manufactured by Dow Chemicals and it is the best one can buy. So let's get unpacking. So always remember while unpacking you need to take very care that you should not cut the outer covering of the membrane and take out the packing very very carefully without damaging the membrane because many people most of the times damage the membrane by removing it also take care that the black o-ring should not get cut during the installation now we are going to use a vaseline we are going to apply the vaseline on the black o-ring so that it slides inside the membrane housing very easily so let's get started with applying of the vaseline you should not use anything other else you should only use Vaseline for this process because this eases the sliding of the membrane housings because the gaskets otherwise gets damaged if you don't put any lubrication in it. So you should use Vaseline to lubricate it properly. Use ample of Vaseline and now we are going to load it into the membrane housing very carefully. Uh, remember that the o-ring side, black o-ring side should always be towards the pressure pump like this which I am now installing keep in mind now we we will connect the other membrane to this membrane so don't put the membrane totally inside just keep it some sort of outside little bit now we'll remove the other membrane and we'll attach it with the membrane connector that is provided so friends let's get started for unpacking the other membrane so friends this is the membrane interconnector which we will use to connect two membranes we also need to apply vaseline inside the interconnector so that it slides perfectly into the membrane and also apply vaseline again all over the membrane to avoid any damage to the o-rings so now I am also applying Vaseline inside of the membrane o-ring also and inside the interconnector also. Now we will connect the second membrane to the first membrane. Remember that again the o-ring side should remain towards the pressure pump. So now we are unpacking the second membrane and we'll install it be careful while cutting the outer box do not put the cutter too much inside that will damage the RO membrane so now let's get started friends now we will install the second membrane it's very simple it's gets connected very easily if you put ample of Vaseline hold the first membrane and just press the second membrane easily and slide it very softly inside the membrane housing take care that the membrane should not get damaged 
slide it very simply and very easily. Now it's time to apply Vaseline to the second membrane's o-ring also because uh, this also needs lubrication to get inside. This is very important friends, do not miss to apply Vaseline to the o-rings otherwise the o-rings might get damaged and your membrane will get totally useless or even sometimes that reject water will not get uh, means the pure water will not get passed through so friends you should use vaseline to slide the membrane properly it's very important keep it in mind use um, i used an entire one uh, you one unit of that was vaseline bottle now i am sliding it very softly and easily after that you can use a piece of pipe to push the membrane inside and now as the membrane has been fitted inside properly you can see it use some pushing mechanism something like a pipe or a, some rod to push it inside don't give much pressure and after that now we will put on the cap of membrane housing on it that is also very easy to install we just need to put some Vaseline on the o-ring of that membrane cap also. Remember to put Vaseline everywhere there where it is an o-ring. Now I am pressing it and installing the cap on it so that it gets firmly inside. And now the next step is to install the clip which was slightly difficult for me to shoot because of holding a camera in one hand but it's very simple just you need to go and install it and put it inside the notch that is inside the membrane housing so it's not so difficult just put it just like loading a spring inside now it is firmly installed and very firmly the membrane is packed inside so here is how you install a reverse osmosis membrane 4040 in a 500 liter per hour commercial filter hope you like the video friends and hope you have learned something new if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe because i always try to bring something new and interesting regarding to water purifiers and technologies for you peoples so hope you'll subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon besides the subscribe button thank you very much for thank you very much for watching and listening to me this is prasad jado take care bye bye